This video is going to be about where do oil prices come from? Who controls the levers of gas prices? Hey, I want to talk about the oil market, the oil market. The price of gas, which is largely just a function of the price of oil, is determined by a global supply and demand for barrels of oil. So let's do some history. On the vertical axis, we have price for a barrel of oil. These are put in $20, $20. And on the horizontal axis, we have millions of barrels of oil produced per day. And we can see between 1965 and 1973, the increase increased demand caused by long-run economic global growth was matched by an increase in output. So even though more was being produced, the price didn't really change too much in real terms after adjusting for inflation. But between 1973 and 1974, we saw a significant negative supply shock. This was the beginning of OPEC. And likewise, between 1978 and 1979, we also saw a negative supply shock caused by the Iranian Revolution. Between 1979 and the early 80s, we mostly saw a negative demand shock for oil. This was caused by a severe recession. During a recession, people have less income and they'll purchase less gasoline and less oil products overall. The mid-80s is characterized by increased oil production, lowering the price of oil for all. In the late 80s into the 90s, supply was keeping up with demand, maintaining a stable oil price. This stability of increased economic demand matching an increased economic supply held till about the early 2000s. But between about 2003 and 2006, we saw a huge increase in demand. This demand was coming from three sources. Number one, China's economy was growing spectacularly. Number two, India likewise was growing. With increased growth means an increased demand for oil. The United States was experiencing a boom during this period. The SUVs became bigger and bigger, and it's not like their miles per gallon were that great either. And unfortunately, during this period, we did not shift the supply curve out to maintain the price. Therefore, the price grew dramatically, the highest we had seen in history. The financial crisis then hit in 2009, plummeting the demand, which in turn lowered the quantity and drastically lowered the price of fuel. But notice 2010, we got a recovery. And then a mere two years later, 2011, we see the same oil prices we did before. It was just a of the demand curve. But then in 2011, something happened. New technology came online. We figured out and we implemented widely horizontal drilling and fracking. So places from North Dakota all the way down to Oklahoma and Texas increased oil production. The United States, for example, doubled our oil production during this period. Increased supply is going to lower the price. But because the United States is just a medium player in the total global oil market, the effect wasn't huge. The winter of 2014 gave us something substantial. The market was flooded because OPEC broke down a little bit. Russia and Saudi Arabia were kind of fighting with each other, so they both flooded the market with oil, lowering the price for the globe. And it was these lower oil prices with which the past five years has been characterized. We haven't returned to $120, $130 for a barrel of oil since. Again, we see that dramatic fall in demand during the COVID pandemic, and then by 2021, it had returned. Although, if you notice, there was a negative supply shock as well. 2021 had a lower quantity relative to 2019. Why? Oil companies thought the pandemic would be very severe for a very long time, and so they didn't supply enough oil in 21 relative to the recovered demand, and this fueled a lot of the high gas prices we've seen in the past few years. So the oil market is heavily influenced by OPEC, who controls a lot of it, but they don't control everything. It's largely just the global forces of supply and demand.